The Demon List, for those who don't know about it, is essentially a list decided by some of the top players of the most difficult rated levels in the game. Now usually, there's at least some linearity in the decisions on where a said level should be placed, with adjustments made if needed. But what if one creator made a level to accidentally break this format, making a level so out of the ordinary that it broke the demon list? Hi, I'm Alkali, and I made Super Probably Level. Got originally got into Geometry Chat in like 1.6 or something. I I like I saw someone playing it, uh, one of my friends I think, and decided to give it a go myself. By late 2017, Alkali was a pretty well-known figure in the community, being on the mod team, making levels that got tens of hundreds of thousands and even sometimes over a million likes, and he was doing it all for fun. I mean, in the beginning, I kind of just wanted to create for fun. Um, I didn't really have any goals in mind. I was really in inspired by Taman, so that was like a huge motivation for me to create levels. Taman, a popular 2.0 creator, was mainly known for his easier demons like Motion, Acceleration, and Badlands, to name a few. With even Viprin stating that the unique take to the design style made Taman their favorite creator of all time. Now come early 2018, Alkali would this time be inspired by a popular unrated memory level, Totally Legit Level, by Infinity, or my name, 2243. Uh, obviously the level is inspired by Totally Legit Level, which I, I absolutely love that level. Decided to make a kind of spin-off level based on it. Yeah, that's pretty much how it started out. With this newfound inspiration, Alkali would start building on a side project reminiscent of Infinity's memory level that would go by the now familiar name, Super Probably Level. Now unlike Alkali's other creations at the time, he didn't post any previews of his upcoming demon at all. He had intentions to differ this level from his other projects and other levels in the game, being memory gameplay mixed in with high contrast colorful visuals. I, I wanted to try doing a design with like really high contrast colors. Uh, just to like completely shift my style, my usual style. Now to this point, the hardest level he had made was Frustration, a hard demon. And Super Probably Level was only intended initially to be a tad more difficult than Frustration, or even less difficult. But over time, the difficulty took a shift for Alkali. Originally, I was, it was going to be like Insane Demon or Hard Demon in the beginning. But then as, as it went on, I, I decided, you know what, I, I should make this an extreme demon. Skip ahead to mid-2018, where Alkali would post some previews of SPL in a Geostorm group chat, only for an unlucky person to respond to said preview. And Luckalizer hit me up, and he was like, if you need a verifier, let me know. Now before SPL, Lucalizer was just beating what was at the time fairly hard extreme and insane demons with ease, and nonetheless, Lucalizer accepted the challenge. The level's verification would go smoothly, with Lucalizer stating that the level was harder than it looks, and the majority of the difficulty is within learning the level itself. That will be important later on. And after 11 months of creating and verifying, Super Probably Level was uploaded to the servers on December 31st, 2018. The level wasn't placed on the list until over a month later in February, where it got placed at 60th, above Conical Depression and below Down Base. And by then, the first victor, Venfi, a mobile Korean player had been crowned beating it on the 5th of February 2019 in just under 27,000 attempts. Over the course of the coming months, SPL would slowly go down the list like every other level on there with slight adjustments when needed, until the first of its many big changes happened on July 17th, 2019, in which the level was moved up 12 places going from 81 to 69. Sure this move was odd, but not new. The list team isn't and wasn't perfect, so mistakes and misjudgments can happen. And throughout the rest of the year and on to 2020, SPL was back to a normal path through the extended list, until April of that year where once again, the level was moved up an odd amount of spaces, this time being 15, getting moved from 100 to 85. Now it was starting to get weird. Misjudgment and imperfection is natural. 
Now SPL being 30 places above a level it was formerly marked easier than can't be overlooked. After this, a common chain reaction started happening. August 16th, 2020, raised 12 places. May 21st, 2021, raised 16. October 31st, 2021, raised 18. April 26th, over two years after its second move that began this chain, raised 23 places, being its highest change to date. And most recently, on October 24th, 2022, being raised 11, in total being moved up 124 places on the list in its almost four year stand on the list. Now that brings us to today, where our once unstoppable super probability level is at its lowest point ever, being at 140. Now, quickly, let's compare. Obviously, this placement at 60th almost four years ago was near down base, and obviously due to its radical movement up the list, they began separating, with down base's current placement on the legacy list being 304, that means there's a placement difference of 166, that's 16 places greater than the entire length of the current list. If that doesn't convince you, then here's a graph I made of SPL's movement through the list versus Bloodbath. Looking at this, it's easy to figure out how much slower SPL was moving than Bloodbath. Now we know that it shouldn't have been placed on at 60th initially, but where should have it been placed? Looking at a time machine provided by the list's website, we can see a former list along with relative current placement of today. The level closest to today that was on the list in 2019 is Devil of Vortex, currently sitting two places above SPL and was sitting at Get this, 8th on the 2019 list. Meaning Alkali made a borderline top 10 at the time, and the level was so odd and confusing that it was placed next to a level that's over 160 places different than today. Why did this happen? Why was the pathway of its placement so exponential? Well, let's take three variables into account here. The level itself, the victors, and the people who decided its placement, being the list team. These variables overlap in some ways, with an example being the victor's connections to the list team and perception of the level. Variable A, the level itself. The pure gameplay's difficulty is about hard to insane demon, but the catch is its decoration. It's a memory level, meaning that the correct route or path to complete the level isn't always clear, requiring strong memorization skills, trial and error, and a lot of patience. On to variable B, the victors. The two examples I'll be using here are Lucalizer and Venfi, due to them being the only two to complete the level before its placement. Now, Lucalizer was the verifier, and something interesting about Lucalizer is his godly patience, going on to later verify Marathon and Silent Club and beating Calculator Core and Thinking Space. If you have good patience, then a level like SPL would be a lot less frustrating. This unwilling patience likely made the level feel easier to Lucalizer, as he stated in his description, and as I previously mentioned, that majority of the level's difficulty is in learning the level itself. Now Venfi, on the other hand, approached the level as a new hardest, and as a mobile player on 25 hertz, the thought of a level that isn't timing based likely intrigued him to pursue it. He also had nothing to compare it to, as this was the hardest level he had beat. Perhaps he had thought that this is just what levels of this difficulty are like. The third variable, the list team, is one that I don't know much about, but if I had to assume, they used Lucalizer's opinions on the level as placement. There's another quality of experience term that is heavily used to formulate opinions on levels difficulty. Enjoyment. Common word not associated with memory demons, unless you're a psychopath. Enjoyment can sway the opinions of a completion ranging from the greatest level of all time to starting a revolution. This video was made to make an educated conclusion of the effect enjoyability has on the level difficulty. And scientists don't just do one trial and take those results, but take multiple and compare. So what if I told you that this sequence of a questionable difficulty didn't just happen once? The level in question? This is Congregation by Presta, verified by Fluful in April 2021. This three minute long, atmospheric and slow feeling extreme demon easily falls into the category of unenjoyable to most with majority of its victors stating that they liked the level, but either bored them playing it or stressed them out within the length. The level itself is timing based, being set at 0.5 speed for the first half, which is over a minute and a half of dark atmospheric slow timings, followed by a bright drop with flashier objects and more movement. Now Congregation got placed at 47th in May of 2021, and no less than three months later, it happened. The same effect. August of the same year rolls around as the level gets moved up 17 places. Sound familiar? Maybe it's just a fluke. Then January the next year comes, and lo and behold, Congregation was moved up 9 places, with another in its most recent resurgence being in October of 2022 being moved up 7. 
With today's current list and congregation's rapid movement, its initial placement at 48th was about 28 places off where it should have been, being just below Ragnarok and Bloodlust. And if I show the graph in identical format, we can see the congregation's movement mimics SPLs rather than a level like Bloodbath. The difference being a lot less exaggerated than SPL due to the density and close similarity and difficulty that the main list has today. I don't know how long these two levels will stand the list for, as both levels have a difficulty that's up in the air to say the least. The tide of Geometry Dash is changing. We all know that for a fact. With four more top ones now deep into the legacy list and the skill ceiling continuing to raise, I predict this effect of an unknown placement will start to fade as the entire list difficulty will begin to increase in density and become more skill based. Do I think this is a bad thing? I, I don't know. Only time will tell, but it's refreshing to see levels break the pattern and most importantly, break the demon list. Thank you for watching this video. Special thanks for Alkali for letting me interview him. This video would not be possible without it. His channel will be in the description along with the other players and creators I mentioned, so I highly recommend you go check him out. I'm happy to be back making content like this, and let me tell you, I have more ideas in the tank. But for now, you'll just have to settle for this. Sucks to suck, I guess.